everybody, it's Kim and I'm here today to do the Fall Time Cozy Time book tag, book tag that was created by Sam over at Novels and Nonsense and I'll link her channel in the description below. So the first question is, Crunching Leaves, choose a book that has orange, reds, and yellows on the cover. So the first book that I'm going to pick for the first question is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff because I'm absolutely obsessed with this cover. It's beautiful. Look at the color. It's like all my favorite colors rolled into one book and it is so pretty. Another one is a book I actually haven't hauled yet because I just got it yesterday when I went to the used bookstore which is always dangerous and that's The Magician by what's his name? Michael Scott and this one as you can see has lots of reds and yellows in it. Very pretty and fall-like. Also one of my favorite books of 2015 is Fire by Kristen Cashore. I love the colors on this. Red is my favorite color so I really love it when a book has this much red in it. It's so pretty and it like almost sways how much I love the book, but so pretty. And lastly is another book I haven't hauled yet. And the book itself technically isn't red and yellow. As you can see, it's black, but the spine and the back are like a gradient of red to yellow. And I think it's so pretty. And this is Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson, in case you couldn't see it when I was flailing, flailing it about before. Question two, cozy sweater. It's finally cold enough to wear warm clothes, so pick a book that gives you the warm fuzzies. And that is the entire Clockwork Angel trilogy by Cassandra Clare. The characters are lovable and adorable, and the romance is just one of the best I have ever read. I absolutely love this book, and it makes me feel so happy and warm and fuzzy. So I, I would say this is the perfect book for this question for me. So question three, fall storm. It's snowing, and not snowing, it's not snowing, it's fall. Most places it doesn't snow during the fall. Here it usually does, and I'm not gonna lie, a little disappointed that it's November 10th and there's still no snow. We always have, like, used to trick or treat in a snowsuit. Like, I can't believe it hasn't snowed yet. Anyways, so, um, favorite book genre to read on a stormy day, and so... My favorite book genre to read on a stormy day is my favorite book genre to read pretty much any time of any day, and that's fantasy. But on a stormy day, I'd say I'm more likely to pick up a really chunky, almost kind of hard to read. Not hard to read, but something that you really need to concentrate on in order to get into. Not like something I could just whip out on the bus and start to read. So uh, on a stormy day, I would be more likely to read that like 600 plus fantasy book that's a little bit daunting but you're really excited to read, like Game of Thrones, I would be very inclined to read Game of Thrones on a stormy day. Question four, cool crisp air, name a cool character you'd like to trade places with. None of them. I'm not overly fond of near-death situations, and majority of my favorite characters are constantly put in near-death situations. Also, I probably wouldn't survive in your death situation. Situation. I recently took the Would You Survive the Final Battle of Hogwarts quiz, and no, I died three times. I had to keep going back and doing it again, just so, you know, because I had to survive, of course. But no, I died, like, three times. Once by the Acromala Tarantula thingy, the really big spiders. I don't know how to say the name. And I was also killed by a Dementor, and then I was killed by Bellatrix, so I was just like... Probably shouldn't trade places with anybody. But you know what? Okay, if I have to pick, I'll trade places with like Luna Lovegood or Ginny Weasley post the Battle of Hogwarts, since we know I wouldn't survive it. Question five, hot apple cider. What is an underhyped book that you want to become the next big thing? And for this question, I actually have two answers. So I would like, I don't have the first book because I've lent it to a friend. But um, the Graceling series by Kristen Cashore, I know a lot of people have read it, but I don't really see it talked about a whole lot on booktube, and it is one of my favorite series. It is so good, so I would love to see more people pick up this book and read it. And number two is Bitten by Kelly Armstrong. This is one of my favorite authors and favorite series of all time, so more people should read it. I, I haven't seen this book on booktube at all, and guys, so good! It's like a 13 book series, so it's pretty big, but the books are fairly small. This book looks humongous, but it's actually three books in one, so less terrifying. And yeah, I would just really love it if more people could read this book. It's fantastic. So question six. Coats, scarves, and mittens. It's getting cold outside and it's time to cover up. Which book cover would you like to cover up in public? And for this one, I have two answers. 
The first one isn't so much a book I would like to cover up in public as it is a book I wish Goodreads would change their version of the cover. So last month I read Dark Fever by Karen Marie Monning, and I really like to update my progress on Goodreads. It makes me feel really good about how much I've read that month when I see like that 80% done there. However, I started to update my progress for this book, and as you can see, like the cover is not overly ugly for this book. It's fairly good for a paranormal book. Their covers are usually atrocious. However, Goodreads has a different version of this cover, and it's just like two naked people. Kind of. But you can't like see anything, it's like red and shadowy, and I'm like, this looks like an incredibly inappropriate book, not the wonderful fantasy series that so far doesn't have any romance in it at all. So yeah, I like, I really didn't want to continue updating my progress on Goodreads, because I was like, this looks kind of embarrassing, but... So that's one book where I would like to hide the cover, because I would like to hide the cover of the Goodreads version when I update it. And the second book cover that I would like to cover up in public while I'm reading it is the oh-so-infamous Vampire Academy covers. I don't have my first book. I'm mean, missing the first books in a lot of series. I think I lend them to people and they just don't give them back. It's not very nice. Anyways, these books are horrible. Absolutely horrible. And I have, like, the first edition of the covers. They redid them. I don't really like the redid ones either. They're just a bad cover overall. But that's- it's okay. So we'll get over it, but I would really just like to hide these when I'm reading them in public because floating heads are strange. And finally, question seven. Pumpkin spice, a favorite fall comfort food. So mine are like comfort drinks. What I like to eat doesn't really change with the seasons, but during the fall I am a cinnamon dolce latte. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh... Like, I'm obsessed. They are, I need, like, one a week. That's all I let myself have, but I could literally drink one a day. I'd be, like, 700 pounds, but I could drink one a day. I love cinnamon dolce lattes, and I also tend to be, I like teas, and I tend to like a lot, a lot more hot chocolate, and even coffee, just more in the fall. I don't know what it is. So that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment your answers for the questions down below. Um, I'm not going to tag anybody specific because I don't really know that many people on booktube yet. So if you're watching this and you haven't done this tag yet, go ahead and do this tag because it's actually lots of fun and it's fall and fall's just wonderful. But anyways guys, have a good rest of your week. I will see you on Friday, hopefully. I've been really bad for uploading videos, like really bad. And I would have uploaded one yesterday. I got locked out of my apartment for a little bit, so fun. Good times. Anyways, see you guys on Friday. Have a good week. Oh, and please like, comment, and subscribe, you know, if you want.